There's a reason the bare naked ladies said they'd put samurai in their films if they made them. It's because samurai films are awesome. They range in everything from historical epics and remade westerns to action-packed interpretations of Shakespeare and have inspired canons like Star Wars and The Magnificent Seven. But with so many samurai films out there, it can be easy to get lost in trying to find the best of the best. So here are our top 13 samurai films. Be sure to subscribe to Flickside for more movie recommendations before we kick off. Number 13, Lone Wolf and Cub Film Series. Based on the acclaimed manga series, Lone Wolf and Cub is one of the most unorthodox duos in a samurai film. The six films center around the adventures of Shogun executioner Ito Ogami and his infant son Daigoro. Armed with swords and a baby carriage, the two of them traverse a brutal version of Japan while trying to survive. Each film possesses different villains that attack in different ways. This is a fantastical version of Japan considering what the films feature. This includes the baby carriage firing guns and samurai skiing down snowy hills. There's an absurdly appealing balance of grit and goofiness that makes them a must watch. Number 12, 13 Assassins. Director Takashi Miike has directed all sorts of wild and unhinged horror and gangster movies, but he also directed samurai films like 13 Assassins. And if you were hoping he'd tone it down with this period action film, you'd be wrong. 13 Assassins depicts a team of 19th century Japanese assassins targeting the tyrannical lord Naritsugu Matsudaira for execution. The grouped samurai then lay a series of vicious traps that lead to some disturbingly violent scenes. If you like your samurai films to be extra brutal and very weird, 13 Assassins is sure to shock with its many surprises. Number 11, Kill. You know how spaghetti westerns started borrowing from samurai films? Well, the simply titled Kill borrows from a lot and not just from the samurai genre. On its face, it's clearly remaking the same story as Akira Kurosawa's Sanjuro. It tells the tale of an aspiring samurai and retired samurai who join forces to fight back against a clan with a band of rebels. The film has a lot of comedic styling as Sanjuro, but also adds in a dose of Italian spice to give it that extra grit. There's plenty of other samurai films it draws from as well, but this ambitious mixing of genres manages to make Kill stand out. It's far more than Sanjuro 2.0, even though that sounds good enough for a compelling samurai flick. Number 10, Three Outlaw Samurai. Before director Hideo Gosha dabbled in the world of modern Japanese gangsters, he got his start with the simply titled Three Outlaw Samurai. The film follows some farmers who kidnap the governor's daughter and hold her hostage until taxes are lowered. The problem is the farmers don't know much about swordplay. It's a good thing that the three warriors originally hired to execute the peasants decided to switch sides. What follows is a rebellious tale of renegade ronin that is as much a rousing series of sword fights as it is a scathing critique of political powers. Number 9, Samurai Assassin. True to its title, Samurai Assassin is about assassinations but also betrayal. It follows a band of assassins sent to kill a Tokugawa official. While they wait in the snowy setting outside the castle, the absence of Lord Lee makes the assassins anxious, fearing there is a traitor among them. Fronting the film is the legendary Toshiro Mifune, who plays the complex Nero, desiring samurai status. He goes from being a giddy rogue to a vicious, frustrated character as the film nears its brutal and bloody finale of swords and politics. Not all samurai films have to be gritty depictions of swordplay and politics. Our number 8 pick, The Twilight Samurai, is proof that these films can have some vulnerability and still be unique. Posed as much more of a samurai drama, the story centers on Seibei Iguchi, a kind soul who went from a low-level samurai to a bureaucrat. He's a very relatable character for being a single father and struggling with money. This is the perfect film for those who need to be reminded that samurai movies are about more than hacking and slashing. And moving on to number 7 is the Samurai Trilogy. Okay, so there's a little bit of cheating here, but how could we not count the Samurai Trilogy as a complete film? Hiroshi Inagaki's trilogy adaptation of Eiji Yoshikawa's 1930 novel about the swordsman Musashi Miyamoto is a gorgeous and dramatic epic. Throughout the three films, Musashi is built up from a young upstart to a bold samurai. It's an incredible life story that mixes action, melodrama, and romance. It's also another fine performance from Toshiro Mifune. Now that should be reason enough to consider this a top tier samurai film. Number 6, Throne of Blood. Shakespeare's Macbeth has never been more exciting than when told in the form of a samurai story. Director Akira Kurosawa merges the classic play with Japanese no theater to create this cautionary tale. 
There's a lot to love about the film, but it's most notable for Toshiro Mifune delivering his most extreme of performances as the lead. The finale of the actor being assaulted by arrows as his castle burns is one of the most intense scenes in any samurai film. Some samurai are depicted as heroes, and some are sociopaths. For 1966's The Sword of Doom, our number 5 pick, it's the sociopath route. As the most critical of the Bushido Code, the film follows the downward descent of the evil Ryunosuke, a disgraced samurai with a lust for violence. Director Kihachi Okamoto loads up this picture with much of the cynicism and nihilism that came with samurai facing the end of an era. It also boasts some of the greatest sword fights you'll see in any samurai film. Although Akira Kurosawa has been making many films prior, the 1961 samurai film Yojimbo, our number 4 pick, was one of his best, both commercially and inspirationally. The film finds Toshiro Mifune playing the wandering ronin Sanjuro, a mercenary who manipulates a war between two gangs to his advantage. Mifune is at his peak in this anti-hero role that is oozing with cleverness and machismo. If this samurai tale that fuses action, drama, and comedy sounds familiar, it's because Yojimbo was a direct inspiration for the 1964 spaghetti western classic A Fistful of Dollars. Number 3, Samurai Rebellion. Although the era of the Tokugawa shogunate was recognized as a peaceful time, Samurai Rebellion was a film that argued that many feudal systems are kind of trash. Toshiro Mifune plays Isaburu Sasahara, a samurai who is starting to question his loyalty to a lord. When suffering a loveless marriage and realizing his son may be torn apart from his lover, a rebellion is on against the system. Director Masaki Kobayashi masterfully weaves this explosive tale of pushing back against the ruling class. Number 2, Harakiri. In between directing The Human Condition and Samurai Rebellion, Kobayashi directed one of the darkest samurai dramas with this 1962 film. Set during Japan's era of the shogunate dictatorship in the 17th century, it was not a good time to be a samurai. Hanshiro Tsugomo is one of those poor samurai who is seeking to end his life. Before he does so, however, he requests an audience with his lord to witness the ritual of Harakiri and hear his story. This is a deeply unsettling story of how honor can easily manipulate and control people, highly critical of the samurai mindset. Number 1. Seven Samurai No samurai film has had more of a cultural impact than this one. Akira Kurosawa's most notable epic features seven samurai being hired by a struggling village to strike back against the bandits stealing their food. The masterless and unemployed samurai of 16th century Japan wage war against evil defending the innocent as they try to find meaning in their lives. Though it's a long film at three and a half hours, it's one of the most engrossing samurai stories and was a huge inspiration around the world. How huge? It inspired the western classic The Magnificent Seven, as well as sci-fi films like Battle Beyond the Stars and Rebel Moon. None of those movies would be around today if not for Kurosawa's exceptional storytelling of great action and emotion. If you're done watching these, check out our full list of the 20 greatest samurai films in the description below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to Flickside for more great film content.